Today is the day that we are gonna start firing into this K&R Performance Super Duty wiring kit. Uh, a lot of work ahead of us. I have never done this before. But fortunately, we have the old man here to, uh, he's already getting started. He's already kind of tearing into the situation. You can see we got the ignition box removed. We're gonna be going with a different ignition box. It's gonna be mounted up here. Uh, you can see the old man's kind of got the wires Starting to get tore out. Uh, we're kind of trying to get our thought process figured out here as far as our plan of attack. So stay tuned. If you don't know how to wire a car, you might learn a couple of things today or not. We'll see. And if you're wondering what's up with this video quality, what's, wrong, what's up with this audio quality? Uh, it's because we're vlogging on a GoPro today. I broke my beloved Panasonic Lumix G7 and I'm like, no. Uh, Vera and I were kind of wrestling in the basement, uh, having a little bit of a pillow fight like we do pretty much every night. And Vera come in hot and she clipped the tripod leg with the pillow, took a tumble, broke the screen off of my nice camera. So we are having a little bit of technical difficulties. We're gonna be using GoPros. Just kind of driving home the point that you don't need really nice equipment uh, to make videos like this. If you want to make videos, go ahead and just start. If you have one of these, you have a camera. Uh, but today we're gonna be using GoPros and uh, we're gonna be rewiring this race car. into the kit just trying to get my bearings straight checking out how awesome this wiring diagram is this is a two-sided laminated wiring diagram with pictures phenomenal that they include this with the kit over at KNR. Um, we're gonna be following the dragster application side uh, the other side says door car application um, the the main differences that I've really found on this after just kind of looking at it is the dragster side shows a uh, air CO2 shifter, which is appropriate for my particular application. And also it has a different ignition box, kind of a, a few differences on the ignition box side. Um, but nonetheless, I think I'm gonna follow a dragster side. So uh, they're very subtle differences. You might wanna just look at your specific application and what specific pieces that you're going to be using, obviously. I'm not going to be using all of the exact pieces that are on this diagram, uh, so we will have to adjust accordingly as we go. But we're gonna begin the process by looking at this diagram. Um, I also get to cheat just a little bit because the old man's hot rod over here actually has the same wiring kit in it. You can see he has the nice k &R switch panel installed already, and uh, right down here you can see he has, it looks like a little bit older model, but it has the k &R relay board and he has the same ignition box that I'm gonna be using. So if we get confused about something and not sure exactly how we wanna do something, we can kind of look at his car and we'll be able to, to actually cheat just a little bit. So first step that I'm gonna look at doing is just kind of laying out the major components. I'm gonna unpackage some stuff and uh, we'll lay out where we want this relay board to be. We'll lay out where we want the ignition box to be and then we'll begin. So when you open the relay board, you're gonna see that there's two different jumpers included. And uh, if this is kind of how you pick your shift mode. So if you wanna shift on time, you're gonna wanna go ahead and use the brown one in my case, uh, because you want the wire loops to the right to shift on time. So that's one thing that you're gonna have to change. I think mine's got a switch on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it on the right side I typically shift my car on time. See, the old man has his switch to, to shift on time as well, but looks like the older model board, depending on what you have, uh, there's either gonna be a toggle switch um, or there's the jumper wires on this, on the new late model edition here. Check it out, you guys. One other thing I'd like to point out that I like about the KNR switch panel. Uh, this is my old switch panel here. It's a nice panel. I used it for a lot of years, it worked, but I'll tell you what, over the years I did have a couple problems here and there with it because 
of the orientation of these switches. Uh, th this is how it sits in the car. And then it actually had a couple rocks get down in the top of these switches. Uh, this maybe happened, you know, four times or something. And I've been racing this car since 2006. But, uh, you know, like having contaminants getting down on those switches. And, uh, you know, one time I was sitting in the staging lanes and I hit the ignition button and it like wouldn't go. There was actually something lodged behind it. Uh, so that's a bad feeling that you don't want. So on the K&R switch panel, like this is this is the top here so you'll see the switches are actually 180 degrees so i don't know if that's going to be better or worse obviously when you're driving the car the switches are still going to be exposed right here but the problem did happen with with the other switch panel so we'll see if this is an improvement here dad you've had this switch panel you ever get a rock back there before no i don't go driving off road like you i don't go off-roading either but it happens you guys uh, so it's just something I wanted to bring to your attention. You know what is awesome about this kit? Is we're like, hey, do we have wires for the lights? You you go in the bag and everything is late. Look at it. It says lights right on it. Accessory wires. And check it out. The actual wire itself is labeled. How nice is that? So when you're looking for your wires, the process is simple. You just read the bag. It all comes laid out just dandy. So before you guys get all over me about this Digital 7 ignition box and that it's outlawed and NHRA competition and everything else, this is the 7530T. So pay attention to that part number. Um, I, I can't tell you off the top of my head which of these part numbers are allowed and which ones are not allowed in NHRA competition. However, I have done my research and I know that this one is okay. There is some of these Digital 7 programmable ignition boxes that are outlawed. I think it's a 7530, like without the T, but I, don't take my word for that. Do your research. Um, I have done my research. I know this one is okay. This panel is a little bit on the floppy side, so the plan here is I cut out a couple little chunks of aluminum that I'm gonna rivet to the bottom side, uh, right between where the main components mount uh, to try and stiffen up this panel a little bit. All right guys, we got a little bit of a slow start today, but uh, starting to make some progress. As you can see, uh, this is the war zone right now. Uh, we got a lot going on. We got all of the uh, transmission wiring back here, the coil, the starter. Up here we got like water pump, fan, crank trigger stuff, all of that kind of up here on the front side of the motor. We got the wires back here, and I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with how this little braided stuff that we got, um, this is like almost no money off of eBay. I just found it on eBay, it come from China. I don't like China, but here's the thing. This made a pretty nice looking little wire harness here. We got some heat shrink on the ends, uh, and it kinda just keeps things nice and neat. Uh, looking pretty good here. We're just gonna get this finished up, connected up, and then a lot more work back here. Front side, holy moly. Um, it will look nice eventually, but uh, right now, you know, we're running all the wires up here and uh, a lot, a lot of work to do up here. We're just trying to get the wires strung through all the frame rails and such, and uh, it's a ton of work. Dad, what do you think? Day one with the KR Performance Super Duty wiring kit, your thoughts? Well, the wiring kit is awesome, really awesome. I mean, it. 
this is perfect with all the wires marked and the wires themselves have it wrote on there where they go and yeah. everything it it couldn't be better and like we we found that we were able to use the K&R wires that came with the kit for everything except uh, we're gonna have a trans, you know, we didn't have a transmission temp wire. From the gauge, though, don't have anything to do with that. Pump. Yeah. All right, so we didn't have a transmission temp wire, like the transmission pump wire and the transmission fan wire. It's not made for the gauges, it's only for everything else. Sure. So there, there will be a handful of wires that you'll have to, you know, include yourself if you're like doing a brand new car or something. And KR should develop their own set of gauges for the wiring kit. Oh. And then it would be, they'd have everything. Oh my gosh. Their stuff is the best. Kevin, you hear that? It's awesome stuff. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. They should get on. We should talk to them about that. Yep. That would be a good idea, you guys. make. Let's make that happen. <laughs> Call me. So it's getting late tonight. We're calling it an evening. We're going to come back in the shop and hopefully finish up this project tomorrow. Uh, I'll see you guys then. Later. If you liked this video, let YouTube know. Please hit the like button, click subscribe, and visit the Gallstar TV swag shop to help support the creation of more videos.